The Queen is celebrating a milestone today. It was 60 years ago exactly that Elizabeth was officially crowned. This followed the death of her father, King George, the year before. The coronation anniversary will be officially celebrated in London on Tuesday. But in the meantime, Richard Fitzwilliams is a royal commentator. He's in our London studio with an overview of the significance of this event. It is extraordinary. 60 years ago today, the state, the feeling of anticipation during this ceremony and the build-up to it, which had lasted for 16 months after the death of George VI. I mean, this really was tremendous. What we saw was a nation that was still very much linked to post-war austerity look at a ceremony which was absolutely magnificent. It was a blend of the spiritual and the temporal. It was a 27-year-old monarch ascend the throne, Princess Elizabeth becoming queen in a ceremony that was regarded as the most spectacular and done with the most precision ever staged in Britain. And certainly millions of people watched it on television, millions of people lined the streets of London, millions of people were listening to the radio across the Commonwealth to her coronation. Let's talk about this Queen and how that momentous day and the very fact that technology was used on that day to spread the word, how that set her reign in motion. Very much so, because it was actually extremely controversial, the idea of televising the whole service. Her father, uh, part of uh, George VI's uh, coronation, had been televised at the very end, and there was a great debate about this. But what, in fact, it has led to, and certainly this has been true in recent years, is the royal family mastering technology on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube, and so forth which really has been significant. At the time, we saw television launched by the coronation. 27 million watched it somehow, even if you didn't own a set, and you usually did pretty soon after that. You watched it at your neighbor's home, or somehow you were involved. Two million lining the roots, tens of thousands sleeping overnight. I mean, it really was one of those moments in royal history and in national history. The monarch, after all, is a symbol of national unity and synonymous with Britain and with the Commonwealth. And there's no doubt that this day personified it in all its majesty, color, splendor, and precision. You, you reference the very fact that the monarchy to this day continues to embrace technology as it ekes out its place in the global scale. But not only has technology changed, so has the nature of the Commonwealth, the countries within the Commonwealth. How would you judge Elizabeth's adaptability to all these changes across her reign? Well, I would say that she is the one constant to a nation that has changed so radically from being an imperial power. Remember, there were 30,000 troops uh, participating at the coronation. Technology has changed so radically, as we've mentioned. The nation is far more diverse. Culturally, it is at its zenith. But it's a very changed place. The one momentous aspect the continuation of a rule which has been marked by dedication, by the oath the Queen took, uh, the form of ceremony, and the fact that she's still Supreme Governor of the Church of England and a deeply religious person and has lived her life within a religious framework. That to her was the reason the ceremony was so important. And millions related to it, whether or not they were religious. And we're running out of time here, but I do want to ask you very quickly, because we recently saw Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands abdicating her throne in favor of her son. The Queen is now 87. Is there talk of a possible abdication in favor of Prince Charles? There's absolutely not. The Netherlands is totally different. Uh, monarchy since 1815 has had six sovereigns, four of whom have abdicated. It's a tradition there. The Queen regards being head of state as a job for life. There's absolutely no chance whatsoever that she'll abdicate. What's more, she's in absolutely first-class feckle. Look at her at the derby only yesterday. 
And that was Richard Fitzwilliams, royal commentator, speaking to us from London.